Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today is a style showcase. And in this episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about uh, pattern differences that you'll see within the Split Toe Derby. Now, um, you know, I did a, a one with Split Toe Derbies, I did one with Split Toe Bluchers, and uh, you know, I'm sure, and I expect, fully expect, that I'll get comments that, hey, you know, a lot of these things look the same. It's a split toe, who cares? But there are some really significant differences that I want to talk about. And then there's a lot of similarities between styles and between brands, even though there can be huge price differences. So for instance, this is from Blackbird, and it is a, uh, a split toe derby. Uh, this is a piping, what I call piping. Again, this is a piping stitch. So it kind of looks like there's a piece of piping in there, and then there's a piping here. So this is all one piece of leather. This is not connecting anything. And then there's a blucher actually sewn on, a physical one instead of just virtual. And then there's this saddle piece here, which goes to the heel instead of stopping here. So a lot of times saddles will just stop like right there, but this goes all the way around. So it has a double top line, which is a very common style, it has the patch on the back. And then there, now this is Norvigy stitch at the base. And then they actually do a double one down below, right? Now this Blackbird looks very similar to this Bontoni. Now, same stitch here, double saddle, all the way to the back, patch. Now this patch is not straight, it's curved. It's a little difference there. And here you can see there's a double on the top. It's not really a double on the top. This is sewn into the side and this is sewn into the base. Then they cut the leather here and then do a stitch down there. Where here, they don't cut the leather across and you just have both stitches into the sole. And of course, this is a hand stitch to the sole, uh, proportionate to the others. Where this, and this is Bontoni, so I can't be for sure, uh, but that is probably a machine stitch to the sole um, you know, compared to the hand ones above. And you can see that it's into the sole. They actually have a groove there where they cut it. And they only did that at 180 degrees. So those two look really, really similar. But what about the others? Um, a lot of these are very, very different than your typical, this is like your typical blucher, but usually your blucher has heel caps that, that are here. And in this one, you can see they've created this double top line uh, which is very interesting looking. Now, this isn't Shell Cordovan, but I've, I've seen this in a number of other things. And see, they did a very, very clean back, sorry, but they did the connection here. So that's another thing that you can look for in order to identify ways that the style can be different. Now, you compare that to this one. It has the double top line. It has a patch, all right? But it has a patch right here instead of the piece going over to the side. So a pretty different look to it from the back. Now this also has a very long toe here compared to all the others. And that's another difference in the look. Now you can also see that this stitch is actually um, a piping stitch, but it's a piping stitch with tension to give it a different look. So very, very interesting the way that that's done. This apron stitch is actually, appears to be connecting two pieces of leather because you can see a seam there, right? Now it could actually be the same piece of leather. That's another thing that they do. Now, some of the time there are other differences. Now, for instance, you notice on, on, on this one where they, where they wrap around to have the seam here. Well, this one does the same kind of thing with a double pipe, a double top line here. It's much shorter. Very different style. This is Norman Velata. He does things differently. Now look at that. And he makes it into a, a heel cap, but it's only a heel cap on one side. So again, very, very different in the way that he's doing it. The other thing you'll notice is that these are very oval. This one is kind of half oval. This one is squared off a little bit more like this one is, right? And this one is really round. Okay, again, just some differences to think of as you do it. Now, 
Then you have specific adornments that the shoemaker makes for me, like this one. He basically did a medallion on the heel. Very, very different. Now, this is a custom shoe, totally handmade, Ichigo Ichi Eye. You can see he also painted that on the sole for me. Uh, but that is a, a very, very different level of craftsmanship that you're not going to get. But this, that's pretty cool, if I say so myself. So it's a, um, it, there's some differences among all the shoes. And you can see, as we looked at with these two, they look very similar, even though you know, list price is going to go from $160 to about $15.50. Um, so some huge differences in the uh, quality of leather and construction. So that is some things to look at as alternatives as you're picking out this style. If this is a style you like, you have some choices as to uh, making sure that you get the adornment just right.